Hey there, it's Jamera Fan 2000, and welcome back to another episode of Jamera Fan Talks About, where I basically talk about uh, the 24 year long discography of Jamera Kwai. Um, the last episode, we talked about Jamera Kwai's fourth album, Synchronized, which was a bit of considered a drug album, and the beginning of what is referred to the fan as the new sound for Jamera Kwai's future material. Now we come to the fifth album, 2001's A Funk Odyssey. Now this would be a further continuation of Jamiroquai Kwai's sounds more towards the experimental, the electronic, the synth type uh, sampling they were using in, in their sound. But also, it actually would turn out to be a very amazing album and a bit of a, a bit of a modest mainstream success for the band. Um, this this was purely a space album. This was very very spacey. You listen and this the, if I had to pick a theme for a Funk Odyssey, uh, heartbroken, very very much heartbroken because you look at most of the songs in this album and they were all about heartbreak. Uh, Little L. The first single from the album was pure, pure space funk and pure heartbrokenness. And um, this was a time that JK did get through, go through a few heartbreaks in his personal life. Um, after traveling without moving, he was supposed to marry this uh, TV presenter. Her name was Denise Van Outen. And then what happened is they were, out, right, they were planning to get married in this big wedding ceremony at uh, his mansion. And it ultimately, they ended up breaking up, and it was a bit of a messy breakup. But I don't know. JK never commented on this um, when talking about the album that that was a little inspiration for some of these songs about being heartbroken or anything on a Funk Odyssey. But it, a Funk Odyssey, was an amazing album. It was very experimental, and uh, you, you, the, the experimentalism. I don't remember another time in a Jamiroquai album where Jamiroquai was this experimental in their music composition. Uh, great example in this album of them experimenting, but really experimenting really smart, was in a song called Supersonic. This was a, what started out as an instrumental, then later on JK would overdub with, with lyrics. And uh, it would turn into, and this, this is the first electronic song, and this would probably mark the last time we would see Wallace Buchanan's digeridoo, the classic didgeridoo instrument use in any generic white composition, which is sad, because Wallace would end up leaving the band after this album. But his his mark on Jamiroquai's White's discography will never be forgotten. Didgeridoo will always be known as synonymous with Jamiroquai's White's song. But Supersonic was an amazing song. Um, as for the other tracks on there, um, some fans consider some of the tracks on there, like Stop Dope Panic and a few others, as a bit of fill a bit of filler. And uh, I don't think of it as filler. I think it's just every track stands in itself as being really, really good. And uh, yeah, Jamiroquai, yet yeah, still, you know, doing doing experimental stuff, doing the space funk, st sticking with the new sound to keep the mainstream audience engaged with their sound. It's all it's all well and good. So um, Funk Odyssey was a pretty amazing album from top to bottom. But um, what that would lead on to is Jamiroquai leaving their record label with their next album. Or this would be marked the last album with their record deal with Sony and would open yet another chapter in the history of Jamiroquai. But I'm interested in what you think. What, do you thought, what did you think of the, Jamiro, the fifth Jamiroquai album of Funk Odyssey? What was your favorite track from the Jamiroquai album? Uh, please leave your thoughts and comments to this uh, discussion in the description box of this video down below. And I'll see you again really soon with another episode of Jamiroquai Van Talks About. Bye.